body movements down. Uh, uh, sometimes they pose kind of wide and they're real stable. Which are they're just like we put them. So as I'm here, I wanna just then put a hook on his knee. So what I'm gonna do is as I'm pushing here, I'm gonna go knee to knee. Because I think what I'm doing is a lot of things that I'm just used to doing, so let me break it down. So I want to kind of turn him in a circle versus pull him to the left. But at the same time, I want to understand that he's going to be weak here if I tilt him on this line here, hence this hook. But this hook is going to extend that leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to go in a circle. Like this. So if you notice, his head pointed at the camera. Okay. And hook kind of right here at the knee, maybe even grab it. We'll just hook it so that if they start fishing for that arm, so I'll grab my wrist with the right hand, I can take it out and begin to attack here. Because I don't want him to take this arm and pull it in and then do that whole roll there. Okay, even if I have a collar, I wind up in a bad position. So I want to be here and shallow. So here as I'm driving hip to hip to hip, I want to come up here knee, and I want to turn him here. Okay. Now, from here, okay, I can begin to grab a collar, because I can go and grab the knee here, and I can begin to tilt him up, and then get bow and arrow. But, if you notice, If you notice his head's here, but we wind up there. So I just tilted him on his knee. Okay? So I'm here. Hit, knee, and then I'm gonna go look. One, two, here. Now you can get your collar here, because now I have to come up on my elbow in order to finish anything from there. Because if I'm here, okay, I'm not gonna finish it. That's why it's better to grab your own collar here, grab his wrist, squeeze, and finish. Okay, so one more time. Here, pressure, so I don't have one. Here, here, here. And my hand here, hip pressure, right foot gets out of the way, and as I turn my hip here, I'm gonna move him yeah, 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 yeah. in a circle, like walking, okay? And I'm gonna turn him with the hook, and then get his hand on the shoulder or on my collar. This is very, very effective because it's very difficult for him to defend this here, okay? And from here, you'll just squeeze the bicep and extend your hips. Okay, you just pull it, okay? So turn them, so they turn and pivot on this knee, okay? Let's do it, one, two, three. Can you show me how you're switching your I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more on to the right on him here, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm just moving this one up. As this one's here, I'm going one, two. And I get high hooks, okay? So even here, if you notice, he's pointed diagonal, okay? Because I don't want really to take him to the side. I take him in a circle. It's harder for him to stay because the pressure goes on his elbow and he kind of rolls over that elbow. So. When you have big guys, you know, you're here and then you want to literally switch your hip and just lock that knee as you pull. Here, here. Does that make sense? Okay. One, two, three. Try nice and slow, nice and smooth. 